can help out. <laughs> right? So that. Oh, come on, Earth is Chelsea. <laughs> My stuff ready? I don't know. It's a major error. <laughs> Finish tying your gown. So if that thing like drops, that. right, then I have to give it to her and she can tie it from the back, right? Because that is just that. All right. So I come in. You guys can do Right? So what do I do first? Separate my base then. Correct? So I'm separating my base then. Right, so be careful where your markings are, here. right? So you see mm -hmm. this empty? So I'm already here, right? So can you guys see me? I don't know, move my back, all right? So I'm gonna take my towels and then I'm gonna make my four, right? In, one, up, up. 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 So while I'm already here and I have to clear out my table, then I'm going to arrange it to where I need to arrange it, right? So these things here, these are my drapes. So do I have a gown? Can I please have a gown? Can I please have a gown because I don't have a gown for my surgery? There's some gloves in there too. So right now I'm arranging my gown and gloves. So the surgeon is gonna come, they're gonna scrub, right? So that's one, that's two, but I need, can I please have more towels? For shame, for shame. <laughs> yelling words at me. Boo. <laughs> That's all you're doing. So these are the paper drapes. If they need, you know, they come in the pack. So if they're not using the regular towels, these are the paper. So, it's a cute. so let's just say that we, we don't have these, right? So, so it comes with a mail cover, and this is your garbage. Okay? So now, so these are your, so you see how I arrange them? So now the surgeon is going to gown glove if there's two of them. So now I've arranged it that way where they are ready to go. Right? So this is ready to go. Good? So now I just have this left. So what I mean by draping, so now I'm going to have my stuff ready. So I'm going to pad this. My instruments are going to come this way. So I'm going to pad that part. More towels. More towels. Anytime you have an opportunity to practice the skill, practice the skill. I'm not doing anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. A person can take that. She could have alternately just open them and Okay, so now that I have it padded like this, right now I take circulator, can you please check? While you're waiting there, you're holding that, don't let it drape against you. 
So this contaminated right now, all of a sudden, your hand. Right. So if you hold it against you, then you're all contaminated. Am I good? So I'm going to place this where I need to place it. Just because those instruments are in the ground. Okay, so now that it's, that it's there, right? I'm going to take one towel and I'm going to make my roll. But then again, it depends, right? So, I just put it right. so now what you have here, so this is already arranged the way that we're going to count it because usually on the count sheet, this is what, what it would look like, right? So now I'm halfway done. So these little things here, right? If it comes in a pack, I usually either... When I pick it up, I'm gonna put it where I'm gonna put it. So if this is like my sharp thing where my knife is gonna go, I'm picking up a debakey. I like my debakeys on this side, right? Another debakey. This is with teeth, so maybe I'll put it the opposite side, right? That's another debakey. So, I mean, the AdSense. So this one is AdSense without, so I'm gonna put it the opposite way, right? Because again, that's not with me. These little things, Either I put them where I can see them in pairs, right? You're gonna arrange it and you have your rag nails. There should be two. Oh, there should be two. But anyway, so here's my, sometimes I just kind of put it. because this is stuff that I really, I need to count it, but I don't really need it right now. So if my circulator is here and says, hey, you ready to count? I feel like I'm halfway done, right? So I got all my instruments done. I don't have to, uh, to worry about it, right? We good? <laughs> okay. So now I go to my accessories and in one scoop, I just kind of put it where I need to put it, right? So these are my sponges. I usually put my sponges over here, my lab pads rather. Well, this is a minor tray, so I don't know if I would have a lap pad anyway. So this is my four by four, so my basin. So this is the Emesis basin here. So these things, so this, 
I already touch. If I touch it, I'm just gonna use it and drape it. So this is a male cover. Make sure we're just talk me into using this. A lot of your drapes nowadays are designed to make things easy as possible. If you look on the drape, they have tips to tell you. There's a place that tells you the left hand goes here, right hand goes here. There's an arrow that tells you where it goes. One of our principles that you see repeated over and over again is when a sterile person has to come close to non-sterile thing, we will cuff ourselves. And this is designed so that the person that's putting it on there is able to put their hands inside of it. That creates a cuff. That creates, creates a barrier that prevents them from, uh, from damaging it. So it says right hand under cuff, left hand under cuff. Right. So now, you see this little, if I open it, there's like this Hold it up. Hold it, hold it actually, up. This is really nothing fancy. It's essentially a garbage bag. It's the same general idea as a garbage bag. So when you open it up and you kind of wrinkle your hands up, kind of open it out like this. What you're trying to do is try to open it up so that you've got that opening. You're not trying to get one of these wrong folds. I'll turn that sideways. So you're trying to open up this space. That space there, that's what you're going for. That's where the mayo tray is going to go. So when I right. get that far, you're going to try to put that over your mayo stand, mayo tray. So what I'm doing, right, when I'm putting my hand here, I'm grabbing this. You see that? I'm grabbing the whole thing because I don't want to open it and then everything is going to fall. It's going to unwind. Right. So I'm just holding the edges, right, while I open this. Now, there's a reason why we have this. <laughs> well, actually, I can grab it with this and just yeah. move it, right? It essentially works like so a So once, but I just wanted to show them how to. So when you do this and you open this, you can put one foot here, right? And then, so now this becomes your barrier, right? So you really can put your body against it while you're... And not just can you, but you should. So when you let go of that folded up section, if you're out here like this, it's going to want to unfold. But right see, now that I can, you move, I can move it. If you're up against it, it can't unfold and drop. You use so your see, body to prevent that. I'm still cuffed, right? So when I reach this area, I can literally, because this one can unfold into your face. So that makes it unsterile. So what I can do is that I can literally just not touching. Oh, this this may have been awful. Awesome. <laughs> Oh. I don't know that this thing is not sticking. It's sticking. So it's supposed to. It's not supposed well, to go this way. sideways. <laughs> action against work. This is. There is actually an even wider mayo tray. I know. It's even harder to drink than that. You just gotta work with it a bit. It's one size fits all for the most part. Right. Mayo tray. Mayo okay. Tray so cover, then here we go. Right. No, so because it can can accommodate a larger tray, there's a lot of extra plastic there. That's okay. just gonna get in your way. So here we go, it's draped, it's draped, <laughs> right? So I leave a little piece here because I'm a tucker. I like to tuck. Not everyone is a tucker, but I do like to tuck. So I take another piece of like, towels. And again, I don't like these little edges here. So I just kind of like to tuck. I like to tuck my... I like to tuck so it doesn't move. This is where I can use this. So on the Mayo tray, a lot of things are going to happen up there. You're going to have a lot of instruments. You're going to get instruments back there. You're going to prepare instruments. Uh, among those things are sharp instruments. And that is a thin piece of plastic with a thin piece of paper on the top of it. That's why we add additional draping to it. There's a little bit extra. You're going to have surgeons that are going to drop needles that are loaded into clamps on there. You just want something extra, just going to give you some reassurance that it's not going to get easily penetrated. You'll also notice that there's not much space here between, say, the basin stand and the back table, or between the back table and the mayo tray. If you leave a lot of space, that's just thing, places for things to get dropped. And if you're going between those, that's that much further you have to be. So it's about efficiency that all together, once it's draped, it's a more efficient uh, way of dealing with things. So, 
again, it comes with the medicine cup, right? So if you guys have some specimens, right, or some medication that they want to give you, this is it. It comes with a pen. This is a sterile pen. One is for skin. Sometimes they like to mark the skin, so it says for skin. And there are times where this is for, not for skin use, so this is for your label, right? So it's a saline, or if they want to give you saline, you see how they put saline and the strength and all that. If there's antibiotics, you would put it over here. Sometimes you just have a marker with one in. That works too. You use it for a real purpose. So this, unless it's basin, it can go either way. I mean, I usually put them here, but I guess you want to put all this stuff together. Um, usually the emesis basin gets to use just kind of tray old stuff. Occasionally you'll receive a sponge or a specimen in it, something like that, it's a large specimen. What does emesis mean? <laughs> Sometimes I tell them that. Kidney basin. Yeah. Now, emesis means. You vomit. It's vomit, right? Sometimes when patients get, like, you know, um, from anesthesia, you know, post op, and they get nauseous, so you give them an emesis basin so that they can kind of vomit it. Yeah, so we don't, that's not likely how that's going to get to be used with. Like we to, just uh, use it to hold to, <laughs> to uh, hold some of that accessory yeah, here. Stuff, occasionally you, I think you'll receive those specimens. So, you know, you don't really have, you can put them here, you can, you know, have your pens, you know, it's just really, as long as it's neat for now. Yeah. Right? So neat then this early. pretty much is your minor setup. <laughs> Of the, you count, right? Because yeah. now we're ready to count. A lot of the little procedures that we talk about, this would be simple. If you're doing a small lipoma removal. <laughs> <laughs> like Pete's hernia, probably, right? 